In this video clip we'd like to demonstrate some of the features of our new DMX backpack for the 4D Systems graphic display panels. The addition of the backpack allows you to quickly develop sophisticated DMX control systems for both home and commercial applications. The backpack handles all the time sensitive DMX function, leaving you to concentrate on the user interface and the 4D GL language behind this application may be freely downloaded from our website. On the bench we have a simple network, we have the backpack and touchscreen combination as the controller and in the background we have a three channel DMX enabled flood uh, with red, green and blue LEDs on channels one to three. We'll just power up now and in this application as you can see we have eight buttons representing eight selectable scenes. We have an edit button for, selecting, uh, for editing each of those scenes and we have a crossfade button for crossfading between any of those scenes. If I switch, I can switch any of these in. At the moment there's nothing happening because we have no data in the EEPROM in the backpack. So let's remedy that by clicking the edit button and here we see a number of slider bars. In fact we're displaying eight slider bars but you can have more than that by simply clicking on here which brings the next page of slider bars anything up to the maximum number of channels per, uh, per scene which could be 64, 128, 256 or 512 let's just go back to the first page of channels so let's pull up now drag and pull up on the red channel which you can see in the background You'll notice here that channel 4 is at 255 already and that's a peculiarity of this particular flood. It needs 255 on channel 4 to enable the LEDs. So we'll get, save that, exit changes, save changes, yep. And then we'll go and do a similar thing on channel 2 now. We'll have the green LEDs, we'll save that as well, yep. And channel 3. So changes and then on channel 4 let's have them all up and we'll save that as well. So now when we select between the various scenes 1, 2, 3, 4 we get the corresponding values which were saved. In terms of crossfade we can here we're showing on the crossfade screen this side is displaying the current uh, scene we're in, which happens to be number one. And here we can select the next scene we want to crossfade to. So let's say, let's just make it simple. We'll crossfade to scene number two, which was the which was the green. So now we can grab the slider bar, and you'll see that we here will have a gradual fade between red and green. All the number crunching behind this fade is actually done on the backpack not within the uh, the touch screen and if we want to go to the channel 3 train, see here we're in between red and blue to exit that do we want to save changes not in this case so and just to finally to demonstrate the infrared capabilities of the control we have here a sony remote and you can see that by simply pressing the buttons I can switch between the relevant scenes like so. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and we hope, we hope it's given you a quick guide to the backpack's capability. Please go to our website www.millins.com to download the full data sheet with the command set and also with the 4DGL interface components as well. Thank you.